Now, in this lecture, we're going to take a look at the different methods of the Redux store. We will look at how to work with these store methods in the Redux application. As you know, when you create a store, we pass a reducer as a parameter. So the store can call a listener for the action. Store has its own methods. With Redux store, you will get four methods. Get state, dispatch, subscribe, and replace reducer. So let's take a look at these methods one by one. So let's start with the first one, which is get state. So let me first back to my previous example. And here you can notice I have three files here, counter, action, and reducer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to back to my index file. And instead of creating my store inside this index file, I'm going to create that in a dedicated file. So inside my Redux folder right here, I'm going to create a new file and name this file store.js. And inside this file, I'm going to create my store. So I'm going to simply first import create store from Redux. Down here, I'm going to say constant store is equal to create store and pass reducer here. As you know, I don't have reducer inside this store. Let me import it. So I'm going to copy import reducer from Redux reducer. So I'm going to just import reducer here. So at the top, I'm going to say import reducer from specify single code dot forward slash and then specify here a reducer file. Just after that, I'm going to just pass this reducer to this create store like this. And at the end, don't forget to export this store as a default export. Just like this. So I can use this store in my index file. Save this file back to the index. Get rid of this create store and this statement. I can just simply say here import store from in the single code. I'm going to specify Redux and the store file like this. So now I can use this store in my index file. Save this file. You can notice the example will work fine. So you can notice in the Redux application, I'm going to separate the store, action, and reducer. This is always the best practice to create a dedicated file for the store, action, and reducer. So once I've done that, I'm going to just back to my counter. And now let's talk about the methods of the store. So inside my counter, I'm going to first import my store. So here I'm going to say import store from in the single code forward slash. I'm going to just call my store like this. Just after this import statement, here I'm going to say console.log and print in the double quote initial state. And then I'm going to pass here comma and then see here store dot get state like this. Back to your component. And as you can notice here, I'm going to have the initial state of my component. Right now, I have the initial state 3. So the get state method is going to return the current state tree of the application. It is equal to the last value returned by the store reducer. So whenever you want to get the current value of your reducer or you can say of your store, you can just call the store dot get state. If you want to get the current state, you can use this get state method. Just for that, we have dispatch method. As you know, dispatch is an action. Dispatch method used to update the store. Dispatch method is going to take an action as a parameter and update the store value. We already know that how to work with dispatch in the previous lecture. Just out of that, we have subscribe method. So just down here, let me create that method. I'm going to say here store dot subscribe. And in the parenthesis, this method takes the function as an argument or you can call it a callback function. So I'm going to pass here a callback function like this. And inside it, I'm going to say console.log and in the single code I'm going to say state after dispatch and then I'm going to specify here colon comma and say here store dot get state now if you want you can create this function outside of this subscribe method as well just for this example I just added here inline function and now the initial state of this counter is zero when I click on this plus button you can notice I'm going to get here a console message state after dispatch. So whenever I call the dispatch method, the subscribe method will automatically call. This method is very interesting. With this method, you will get the listener as a parameter. You can notice here we have this listener as a parameter. Whenever the action is dispatch, we're going to get this method. This method will be called anytime an action is dispatch. 
and some part of the state tree may potentially have changed. You can notice here, I didn't call this subscribe method. But when I click on this dispatch method, I'm going to get my subscribe method called. Now you can notice, whenever I click on the increase or decrease, Redux will call this subscribe method. Redux will register this method and call whenever the action happen. Now what I want, I want to unregister this method. To do that, we need to store this method in a variable. So I'm going to say here constant unregister is equal to, that's upon you, you can specify any name to this variable. This is just for unregistering this subscribe method. So what I'm going to do is, inside this decrement right here, I'm going to say unregister and I'm going to just call here parenthesis because subscribe is going to return a function. So I'm going to pass here parenthesis. Let me save the changes and show you the result first. Let me reload the browser and click on this plus button. Whenever I click on this increment button, this action will call the subscribe method. But when I click on this decrease button, this will first call the subscribe method and inside this decrement, you can notice here, I have this unregister function. So after that, so once you execute your unregister and try to click on this decrease again, this will not call the subscribe method again. Subscribe method is useful whenever you want to do something after the action happen. Whenever you execute the dispatch with an action, that will call the subscribe method. And to stop the subscribe method, or you can say to unregister the subscribe method, just pass this method to the variable and call it as a function. And just for that, at the end, we have replace reducer. Replace the reducer is a method to replace the reducer currently used by the store to calculate the state. It is the advanced API. So before understanding this method, we need to know more about Redux. So we will look at this method later in this course.